Hi guys, so um, this is kind of sort of going to be like an impromptu video. I hadn't planned on filming anything today. I've been kind of um, taking things slow lately because I am doing a, I don't know what you want to call it, but um, before I had made a video for my vlog channel about um, weight loss, uh, losing weight, and um, I never got around to actually uh, doing the plan that I had set out, but now I am. So I'm currently on a three day juice fast and I'm going to be working through the book, The Daniel Plan, um, to get my energy back and um, get better fit for the things that God has for me. So anyway, but I just wanted to, I don't know, this is odd for me to do this this way because I hadn't planned on saying anything and I'm really, really emotional right now, especially since I haven't had food in two days. <laughs> so just bear with me. But um, I kind of wanted to talk really, really um, just informally about another reason why we homeschool i was i i'm a really emotional person <laughs> things really get me in my feelings i feel very deeply if you haven't already gathered that from watching my videos i'm just gonna put it out there i feel very very deeply and i am an extremely compassionate person and um, over the last few years, I have been really trying to learn what to do with those compassionate feelings, how to turn those compassionate feelings into what God would have me to do with that, if that makes any sense. Anyway, um, I don't know. I know this is going to be all over the place, but if you've been following me for a while or if you follow my vlog channel, then you might know that my cousin who is basically like my little brother, um, passed away last year and um, he died of a drug overdose and um, a heroin overdose it to be exact. And since then, um, his mother and uh, the rest of my family uh, started an nonprofit organization called BAD. It's called, his name was Blaze and it's called Blazing Awareness Against Drugs. And um, I'm saying all this to say that the other day I was talking to her and she met um, a woman who had started a nonprofit organization for a child that she lost due to teen mental illness. And um, in the last few years, they had grown a lot and had a lot of um, events to raise awareness for um, mental illness in teens, which is amazing and so wonderful and I was talking to my cousin about it and she was kind of trying to figure out why um, she had gained the other woman and her nonprofit had gained so much popularity seemingly so much more quickly and uh, then we just kind of talked about it and I had to remind her that is a different type of cause that there are some causes out there that immediately um, lend itself to an automatic response from other people on how much compassion they are going to have towards that person's situation and uh, things like childhood cancer or you know infant loss that that type of thing just kind of immediately issues a response you know you you get an immediate response but there are other things in life that don't that people feel like you know it's it's that person's fault, um, it's frowned upon, and you get a little less help unless um, someone has been directly affected by it or knows someone personally and it, it forces you to see things differently. Does this make any sense? Anyway, I'm going a roundabout way to say that we talked that out a little bit. And um, then after that, today I came across a video a segment that ABC News, I think it was a Nightline News, did on um, a day that they put together for inmates. And um, the inmates were able to spend the day with their children. The dads were able to spend the day with their children um, and do fun activities. And you guys, this video, okay, <laughs> 
it tore my heart into like tiny bits and pieces. Um, one of the questions that the interviewers asked was that, you know, well, people would say they don't deserve X, Y, and Z. And the lady who organized it actually had, you know, her father was imprisoned and obviously it affected her directly. And so she knows that pain and she knows the importance of, um, of, a day like this where the kids are able to come and be with their dads and spend time with their dads for the day and um it just oh it tore my heart into so many little pieces because i just feel like it's so sometimes it's just so unfair that as humans we get to pick and choose um what we're going to have compassion towards you know And uh, basically, we are judging others. We are judging others based on their actions, um, which is understandable because I, I do it. We all do it. But that doesn't, just because we do it doesn't make it right, you know. And I mean, okay, let me bring it back in. Um, lately, it's just been harder for me to post things or to just really jump in there um with sharing on different social media platforms and stuff because i just sometimes i just feel like so many things are swept under the rug and there's just this whirlwind of social media and you know selfies and um field trip post and you know things that can get you so um fixated on all the stuff that's nice and makes life more fun but is not what matters the most and so I'm getting to my point of this video um, I like being in the homeschool community I really do um, but sometimes you know I, I, I struggle with what I share about how we do things or you know how we do math or how we do reading and I do want to share those things but I guess I just always have this tug just trying to make sure within myself that I'm I'm not conveying that those things that I am not putting out a message that says that those things are what's the most important and what matters the most and what matters the most you know and I guess this video is just another thing about why we homeschool you know I don't homeschool because I want my kids to be smarter than everybody else and um, I don't homeschool because I hate the public school system. I think it's flawed. I think it needs work for sure. I think there's a lot of things wrong with it. I think it's broken, yes. But I don't homeschool for that reason. I, we homeschool because we are a family after God's heart. And we are all learning how to live a li the life that God had intended for us to live. And for us it's a life full of compassion is what I want I want to raise children and to myself be a person that is full of love and walks in love and compassion for other people you know there is so much suffering in the world in so many different forms and for so many different reasons and and that we were meant to be love and to cover that you know the word says that love covers a multitude of sins you know and I'm just not sure that we were meant to be able to pick and choose which sins we as love cover and so things like that are what's most important to me um, why we homeschool um, so yes it's a benefit that they get undivided attention or they get um, more time to grow and to learn and it's a benefit that we get to try different ways of learning math or um, that I get to read aloud to them throughout the day um, but it is not our why making sure that my kids are academically advanced is not our why it's because I don't want to get caught up in the rat race or the you know this hurricane of life 
where we are not focusing on what we should be focusing on and for us that is the heart of god um i was reading the daniel plan that i'm doing for my fitness life and there was a quote in there and i forgot who it was by but the quote was just saying that if you look around you see destruction and if you look within you you know there's depression but if you look to him you know that's where you really should be looking and that is what we endeavor to do in homeschool and that is why we homeschool so yeah i know this was really random <laughs> this was not what i planned on posting i planned on posting a what's on our ipad video but um this is gonna be like i guess an unedited and raw-ish type of video and yeah <laughs> i guess it was just really heavy on my heart because all oh, that video you guys tore me up <laughs> it's just all oh, that video tore me up like imagine a a world where we can get to the root of issues we really need to be in a place where we can learn what love does you know what love says how love walks how love talks you know just those are the things that are important so anyway if you're following me on instagram or wherever else you know i'm trying my best to have more fun in life to post more fun things you know to not be so heavy inside but i just am such a deep feeler i'm such a deep feeler <laughs> i'm trying to work through that and give those things to the lord because he's the one that can actually do something about that you know <laughs> so um yeah Anyway, hopefully I didn't bore you too much or make you sad or anything else like that. It's just that I had just been really wrapped up in all the things that I needed to get done with school and the Falco, which I love. And I'm just so very grateful for being given such a big vision um, with a Falco. But, you know, it's a constant effort not to make it into my business and to keep it his business if that makes any sense because I want to do what he has for me to do and it's so easy to get caught up in well you know I need to post this many times a day or I need to have this many followers in order to be seen and I just have to remind myself that Jesus didn't have a lot of followers and that he could also change everything with one you know interaction with one person with one sale so i'm trying to remind myself of that so if you see the things are slow on the falco or the falco kids um it's because i'm really looking for the heart of god and not what my plans are you know she wants socks <laughs> so i guess i gotta go i need to play i need to take them out come here my little schmooky schmooky give me kisses say bye Bye. <laughs> We're going out of